A PDF portfolio is a collection of documents contained inside a PDF wrapper. Portfolios can include virtually all file types, such as PDF documents, Excel workbooks, Word documents, JPEGs, MP4s, CAD drawings. Basically, any type of file can be stored inside a PDF portfolio. Each file stored in a portfolio retains its individual characteristics, including the ability to open and edit the document with the application that created it. However, all of the files in a portfolio appear as a single PDF document. Further, while you can apply security settings at the portfolio level by using the security features provided by Acrobat, you can also apply security settings at the individual document level using the security features of the application that created the document. Lastly, you can customize the appearance of a portfolio, adding your organization's logo, modifying the color scheme, etc. In this video tip, you will learn how to create PDF portfolios using Adobe Acrobat X Pro. While the process for creating a portfolio in prior versions of Acrobat are similar, a few differences do exist, so be sure to take advantage of the help system if you are working with an older version of Acrobat. To create a portfolio, begin by clicking the Create PDF Portfolio button to open the Create PDF Portfolio dialog box currently shown on the screen. Inside the dialog box, on the left hand side, choose a layout for your portfolio. If you're not sure which layout you want, don't worry about that. You can always change it later. In this example, we will choose the click through layout for our sample portfolio. Next, on the right hand side of the screen, click Add Files. Next, browse to and select the files that you wish to include in this portfolio. As with the layout, if you're not quite sure, don't worry about it. You can always add additional files later. In this example, we will add the Excel file, the Word document, and the two PDF documents being selected on screen presently. Upon clicking the Open button in the lower right-hand corner of the window, the four files that were selected have been added to the PDF portfolio. Now remember, one of the advantages of working with a portfolio is that each document retains its individual characteristics. Thus, the Excel file shown in the middle of the portfolio screen will open in Excel upon double clicking on the document. Once open in Excel, we can edit this document in Excel any way we need to. Upon closing the document, we return back to the portfolio. Once the portfolio has been created, from the task pane on the right hand side of the screen, you can choose to add additional content, change the layout, or add a header at the top of the page by changing the portfolio properties in the task pane. Upon making all of your customizations, be sure to click the Save icon to save the portfolio with the desired file name and path. Once you have saved the portfolio, Again, you can open any of the documents in the portfolio simply by double-clicking on that document. As you can see, portfolios are exceedingly easy to create in Acrobat and provide a terrific way to keep related files in one location while simultaneously enhancing security and creating an appealing user interface. Having viewed this brief video, if you've not yet tried working with portfolios, you now have all of the knowledge you need to get started right away. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.